Light pollution can affect everything from the way we sleep to the animals we see in our neighborhood. And now Charleston City Councilman Carl Brady wants to have a law in place to limit the pollution. Our light pollution here in Charleston has got way out of control. When the sun goes down in Charleston, neighbor Tom Berta says he can't see the stars like he used to, and he's blaming the lights. This needs to be corrected, and as we got here in this shopping center, we got shielded lighting. The International Dark Sky Association promotes that, and also to have all lighting to go down instead of up. Berta wants something to be done about light pollution in the Holy City, and District 5 Councilman Carl Brady is trying to make that a reality. It kind of struck me that we don't really have anything like that um, on the visible light end of the spectrum. A proposed law would help limit light pollution by phasing in new lights and having regulations for lighting on personal property. Councilman Brady says the law would be enforced like a noise ordinance. We can come up with some creative ways to make sure that that pollution isn't feeding over into uh, your neighbor's house, as an example, and disrupting their ability um, to go to sleep. For Berta, it would mean a better life for not just him, but all Charlestonians, if light pollution was dimmed just a bit. It's not the brighter that makes it better for you. It's the proper lighting that makes it safer for everybody as far as health-wise and security-wise. The proposed ordinance will be introduced on Tuesday at Charleston City Council. Reporting in West Ashley, I'm Forrest Tucker. Count on two.